Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to a new game which is out on Steam called We The Revolution. It's developed by Polyslash and published by Claybater. Uh, it is a almost like a graphic novel type game uh, that puts you in the shoes of a French judge during the French Revolution. In our last episode, we had our first use of the guillotine. You can see here the screen in front of you is sort of a still of the uh, following the execution of an uh, sort of an architect who did a shoddy job developing a building that collapsed and killed people. And so uh, naturally he had to be sacrificed on the altar of the revolution. So yours truly, the judge, could gain standing and political reputation with the common folk and the revolutionaries alike. This is a game that basically puts you in the shoes of trying to figure out how do I navigate through the complex political waters of France? How do I climb the ladder of the revolution? How do I unseat those ahead of me? And how do I do all of it without getting my own head cut off and without pissing off my family? How do I manage my relationships with my family as well? It's an interesting little game that I've been playing a bit of lately, and I really enjoy. I think the art style is brilliant. I think the storytelling is very well done. Some of the mechanics could get a little bit repetitive over time, I think. But in general, this is a very well done game that I've enjoyed quite a bit. And we're going to jump back into part four, uh, where we may, just maybe get a chance to see the king again. We did see the king briefly in an earlier episode, and uh, this one uh, might make him a little bit more front and center. But uh, without too much more of a spoiler than that, uh, we'll jump in. If the title wasn't spoiler enough, uh, we may have to make some decisions. Do we or don't we? But uh, let's jump back in. Well, there you have it. He is ours. There can be no more demeaning experience for the revolutionary Paris than the escape of the citizen Carpe Capet. He escaped, slipped right from their hands, and the revolutionary now seems feeble and weak. The people resemble a child that could easily be duped by anyone. However, the Republic quickly composed itself thanks to a postmaster and his people who were able to catch the fugitives escaping to Montmédy. Ordinary citizens led to the fall of a monarch. You will have a chance to serve the Republic as well, for citizen Capet will face the tribunal tomorrow. You will choose how he will be remembered, as a traitor and a coward, or as an unlucky statesman. If it were for the prison guards to decide, there would be only one outcome. Uh, is this the king? Who's Capet? I'm assuming it's the king, right? A lot of the guards to rough up the citizen in prison, leave him alone until the trial. Leave him alone until the trial. So, what are we going to do? Uh, if we work on tomorrow's trial, I'll unlock one more question effects in court, but it'll make everybody dislike me more. Uh... Alright. Evening with grandfather. Father gets happier. Eldest son gets less happy. Younger son gets less happy. Okay. Father is apparently a common folk person now. Day six, Liberté, Act One. Capit is some aristocrat? That looks like Louis to me. Louis Capit, I hereby open your trial. Answer the questions when asked. Capet is the name of one of my ancestors. My name is Louis Auguste de Bourbon. That may have been your name before you raised your hand against the people you had sworn to defend. As a king, I have never done a thing against my people. I love them and still do. Yeah, this is Louis, guys. Objection. There is evidence of Louis Capit's treason against the people of France. He should be tried as a foreigner and an enemy, not a citizen of the Republic. Oh, boy. Questioning the defendant will stir the impatience of the audience. Once angered, the people may even start a riot. So there's this new factor here, this little, little icon here. The people are anxious. This is Louis. This is the king. The people, the revolutionaries, and the common folk want execution. My family would prefer him to be imprisoned. What does the case file say? Speech for the prosecution of Antin, Anton Antony Quinton. 
compatriots, citizen Capet, previously known as King Louis XVI of France, must be punished for conspiring against the people of France. Louis Capet tried to defeat, and I'm wagging my finger over here, if only I was on a stream cam, then you could see. Louis Capet tried to defeat his absolute authority by plotting, or sorry, defend his absolute authority by plotting against the National Constituent Assembly and the people of France. We all remember July of eight, or 1789. He gathered an army, 15 foreign regiments, and ordered them to surround Paris. Soldiers led by Baron de Beneville were to capture deputies and shoot at citizens defending the reforms. And so they did. The Royal German Regiment drew first blood. After the plot failed, Louis Capit tried to flee to the country with his family and scheme with foreign monarchs abroad. Is that not the reason he took flight from the, Tuil the Tuileries one night in June of 1791 using someone else's passport? Was he not heading to Montmédy, where his loyal armies were stationed, ready to take him to Austria? If it were not for Postmaster Dewar, the scheme could not have or could have ended tragically for us. Louis Capit will never abandon the thought of suppressing the revolution by force. Before the events of 1792, he gave orders for the Swiss guard stationed in the Tuileries to be doubled. He conducted a public muster in front of an horrified citizens. The people had no choice. They had to act before Capit attacked. Citizens of Paris who tried to stop the madness were shot at, even after Capit's escape to the National Assembly. Evidence, an order issued by Marshal de Brogel, uh, to Baron de Le Benevis. Uh, pronunciations of words escapes me. My lord, should I, or my lord, should any reason appear to shoot the rebels without hesitation, just as his majesty ordered, have no mercy, for they shall have none either. V.F. de Broly. Oh, what's in the notebook? Poor papa! <laughs> Mama is sad. <laughs> okay. Um, I have good relations with my younger son. Apparently not with my older son, though. I don't think I can get away without executing the king. My, revo my revolutionary reputation is low. Common folk do like me. I've sentenced one person to death, two to prison, two to acquittal. Um, the enemy at the courthouse goes away after today. So the event is capturing the king. We haven't actually gotten to, like, taking over parts of France yet. Alright, um... There's no... I guess we just have to commence the trial, then. Alright, there's a lot here. Ten questions to reveal, two possible mistakes. What do we want to say here? Attempt to flee the country. I mean, he was witnessed, right? No, that's wrong? Fake passport. That would be evidence, right? Why is there no evidence option here? Doubling the size of the guard. Shooting civilians. Defending his authority. Gathering armed force. That's an accusation. What? Good God, how am I going to ask any questions of him? International plot. That's an accusation. Okay. Attempt to flee the country. That's an accusation. Okay. Surrounding the city of Paris. Was it an accusation or did it occur? Yes. Okay. It was a method. It occurred. Gathering armed forces, either method or motive. Method. Yes. Defending his authority, either method, motive, or accusation. Motive? Wow, I'm on a roll. Shooting civilians, that's an accusation, for sure. Doubling the size of the guard, that would be a method? Nice. Suppressing the revolution, I'm on a roll! Accusation. All right. Fake passport. Method? Suppressing the revolution. Motive. You! Alright, so. What did the accused plan to do with the constituents' deputies? Nothing. The assembly that I joined on 27 June 8, 1789 granted immunity to its members, and I intended to respect that. And yet you ordered your soldiers to seize and imprison deputies and perhaps even execute them. Nonsense. There's no evidence of that. My enemies spread rumors to get rid of me. 
We don't need evidence against a coward who runs from his own people. Wow, that's great. That's a good sign from the people when they say they have no need for evidence. Has the accused ever considered Paris and its citizens to be his enemies? Absolutely not. I ask you to explain the question. How can you deny it if you do not understand the question? Your armies are surrounded. Your army surrounded Paris. Is that not what you do to enemies? My soldiers were there only to ensure public order while the National Assembly was in session. Adequate forces were already present in Paris. Was that not enough? Ooh, the king's not responding. Ooh. Who was responsible for the delivery of the passport? My butler. I ordered him to prepare the formalities regarding the travel to Montmédy. The city hall has not received any submissions for your, from your butler. I do not know what to say. Monsieur Le Georges, Louis Capit's butler was seen at the Austrian embassy. They surely took care of the documents for the defectors. Monsieur Tinville, that is mere heresy. Who said such a thing? Bring him here so he may repeat it. There is no need. That is hard evidence, especially in light what the accused has told us. Really? Is it hard evidence? Who helped you suppress the revolution? Frederick Wilhelm II, Francis II, Catherine II, or maybe your relative Charles IV. Justice awaits them as well. Nonsense, all of it. My only desire was to take my family out of Paris as I did not wish for them to suffer house arrest. We all know the European monarchs despise our ideals of freedom, equality, and brotherhood. Am I to understand that you tried to prepare a joint military intervention? I deny any such accusations. There's no evidence of such outrageous crimes. I would never turn against my beloved France. Liar! He'll send his mother to never mind his country. All right, so everything else here is very heavily leaned toward acquittal. I have no desire to acquit. Call the witness Jean Dore. Postmaster of St. Methodold, Monsieur Le Judge. Did the accused Louis Capit introduce himself to the witness with his full name? No, he did not introduce himself at all. He only proceeded or produced someone else's documents. So he tried to hide his identity? You could say so. I used the name from his documents after he showed me them to be never objected. Then how did you know who he was? By the image of the paper, I sat or assignation. Then a message from General Lafayette confirmed my suspicions. I ran Lafayette of American Civil War fame. Uh, I ran as fast as I could to Varnerez and to inform the authorities. Was the accused acting like a defector? Was he nervous or in a hurry? Did the accused tell anyone of his destination or of his journey? No, the king, I mean, Capet was in no hurry. He even found time to jest. That I don't know. Only the king would leave the carriage. I meant Capet judging by the clothes. I thought he was merely a townsman. Would the accused like to comment on the testimony? I do not see anything wrong with the traveling in modest, comfortable clothing. It is even advisable for practical reasons. It would be advisable during an escape, especially if a monarch was trying to sneak away. Oh, everybody wants to kill him! Listen, guys. This is King Louis. This is what the people want. The revolutionaries. The common folk. My family wants him imprisoned. But you know, it is time to kill a king. There is a time when the Revolutionary Tribunal must act for the good of France. This is definitely not for the good of France. But hey, it's time to be killing kings, right? Press F for the king, please. The signature is signed. Monsieur le judge. Hey, wait. My family wants to kill him, too? The crowd in front of the building is enraged. There may soon be a massacre. A rumor has spread about a hidden evidence of Citizen Capit's treason. People have gone mad. What evidence? I will go to them. I would ask that you all stay here. Stay in your seats until I return. Oh, shit. Did I lose track of the people's opinions? People! What vexes you? Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? The king lied to us! That coward ran from us! He'll surely run from justice as well! Oh boy. We found proof of the king's treachery in his secret iron cabinet! Citizen Capet shall not escape justice. The evidence from the Iron Cabinet will be examined. Sh 
Strong, perfect, strong. Okay. The king has been imprisoned. He will not escape, he a, will second not time. escape a second time. If he tries, I will kill him with my own bare hands. Uh, the evidence from the iron. We won't turn a blind eye to new evidence. We shall dutifully pursue each line of inquiry for the Republic and only for the Republic. Okay. And manipulation. Justice must return to our country and stay here for good. No one is more concerned about this matter than a judge of the tribunal. Apparently the mob is intrigued by me. That gives me a plus two reputation, influence, and common folk endorsement. Huzzah! It is true. Evidence of Capit's guilt has been found. Really? Would the defendant like to explain why he has concealed his secure iron cabinet and the documents hidden within from the convention? I hid nothing from the convention. No one asked me about the existence of such things. You kept your correspondence well hidden under lock and key. It could only be retrieved by the assistance of a master locksmith. Any affluent Parisian has a lockable cabinet. I, for one, am keenly interested in locksmithing. Oh my god, we've got a bunch more case files. Alright, so we already knew that one. Whoops. So this one's done. We already know about this. We already know about this. Alright, what are these new case files over here? The deputies of the so-called National Assembly are to be carefully questioned. If any of them should display common sense and cease to support the Assembly, reward him with an extraordinary high allowance and forward His Majesty's thanks. Ooh. Case file. We trust that with God's grace and help, His Majesty will soon arrive within the Imperial borders for us to grant him, as well as our beloved sister, safety, and to potentially take the steps necessary to reestablish the national... Oh boy! The King of, uh, of Austria is threatening to restore him to the throne... Your grace, soon we will have come to your majesty's rescue. However, for the time being, I implore your majesty uh, to muster local troops that remain loyal. I still issue a warning, your majesty's subjects, that any and all who dare raise his hand against your majesty will suffer and the direst consequences. My armies await my orders to curb the tide of anarchy in your majesty's countries. The Duke of Brunswick, Lunary, Charles Wilhelm Ferdinand. It seems pretty obvious to me here. Uh... How do I ask more questions? There aren't more questions to ask. There's nothing in here that... I don't think, anyway. Oh, there are more questions to ask. Attempted escape. Evidence. No. Uh, suppressing... Letter from the Emperor. That's evidence. Letter from the Duke. That's also evidence. Minister's order. Also evidence. Suppressing the revolution. Counter-revolution? Yes. Minister's order? Method? An attempt to escape. Coercive events. All questions unlocked. So now we have to... Okay, so by the way, everybody has swung toward execution now. So even the family wants to execute the king. You were aware of the plans of the emperor and the Duke of Brunswick. Were you not? Why didn't you warn them? I did not deem them threats serious. What?! My armies await my orders. Does that not sound like a serious threat? Prince Charles is impetuous, but I never once thought he would dare attack France. Was the accused responsible for the attempts to bribe the deputies of the assembly in order to abolish it? I did not sign documents, sir. But it was found in a cache belonging to the accused. It speaks of thanks from the king. My intention was to put the minister Roland on trial for abusing his power. I kept the document for that occasion. A trial that has now ha not happened for three years now. The trial that needs to happen. Roland will confess to the guillotine. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not going to ask any more questions. The mob is aggressive. Uh, they will get out of hand. If this meter goes up to the top, they may take actions into their own hands. Everybody's in line with execution. The jury is in line with execution. It is time to kill the king. Everybody will be much pleased with me. The jury as well. I'm sorry, Louis, but you have committed treason against your people, and I cannot wait any longer for my own safety. Quick judgments are not available yet. Okay. Stamp. Press F for the king, because he's going to die. Was his act counter-revolutionary in nature? Yes. Who was corrupting politicians at the citizen Capet's request? 
Roland. Did he explain his reasoning behind Roland's mission of corruption? Apparently he misspoke. He claims it was merely unjust. He denies the situation took place. I guess. I'm not sure if that's actually right. Long live the people! Down with the tyrant! Oh, we were wrong on that one. Incorrect choice on the last one. Plus 10 reputation, plus 2 reputation, plus 2 influence. Everybody loves me, time to kill the king. Everybody loves me, time to kill the king. Yep, I'll be singing at the guillotine. Alright. The crowd awaits the... Do they understand? Their excitement was stronger than the smell of the fresh wood the guillotine was made from. We've already used it once. Do they know what's about to happen? Sheep that only now realize they used to have fangs and claws. <laughs> okay. One thought guides their clenched fists. To bow before the new, uncompromising idol with a shining steel crown. I too have felt their eyes on me, just like him. A silent assistant in this ritual of new faith. A random acolyte, scared, doubtful. Will not the old gods seek vengeance for this treachery? He abandoned them all too easily. Okay. I was unable to understand their screams. I only tasted the stench of their sweaty bodies. But I could hear one thing perfectly. Bring us the king. Bring us the... Bring out your dead. Let us speak to the crowd. Crime. Aggression. Defendant. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, I picked the right combination. So aggression for the crime, manipulation for the defendant, and aggression for the revolution. It may be done. Aggression. Disorder shall be suppressed with the brutal strength of our truth. No turning back now. Manipulation. The offenders want to go back to the old ways. They defend him. Only death awaits the enemies of France. The crowd is satisfied in cheering me. The effects are plus four to my reputation. I die as an innocent man. I forgive my enemies. Pull the rope! Can I have someone else pull the rope? Pull the rope to perform the execution. Off with his head! Shh. F for the king. And this is how kings die, just like anyone else. I must be dreaming. Is that the map from the Mogulurk's case? You stole evidence from the court. I did not steal it, only found a use for it. It will be more useful in your room than in the dusty drawers of the court archives. After all, this is a map by Togo and should be treated with respect. What a lovely explanation. Consider it a gift. Now take it and try not to talk so much. You should be more concerned about the events with the king, because this whole situation just seems peculiar. As your superior, I should be the one judging Louis's case. I fail to understand why Robespierre asked for your assistance. You are jealous. Of course I am jealous. It is an important moment in history, and people will be reading about it for decades to come. It seems there will be trouble. I have a feeling that someone is toying with my life, as though an unknown force were pushing me into utter chaos. Keep your eyes open. You came to the political world of the city from out of nowhere, and that means someone will have to step down to make room. Do you have to sound so defeated? My husband is a renowned person now. We should be happy about it. It is easier to shoot someone in the spotlight. And my father nods his head. 
There's nothing like sitting with your family in a good book next to the warm fire, even though some may think it dull. We will read with the family. The father is happy. The older son is not. The wife is happy. And the younger son is happy too. We have a positive influence on the people with my father and my younger son. Day 7, Act 1 of Liberté. <laughs> nice, Newhauser. Nice. The people sh shrugged the invisible burden off their back. The street seemed more peaceful. Even the windows at the courthouse were soon replaced. Dear Citizen Fidel, I am writing to congratulate you on becoming a part of our country's history. Citizen Capet's trial is on everyone's lips. I would also like to discuss the important topic of appointing the new Commander-in-Chief of the National Guard, who will replace Citizen Burrell. It is my honest belief that I am the best candidate. Should you give me your permission, I would like to pay you a visit this evening. Long live the Republic, Francois Hanrot. Okay. So our influence points are three at the moment. Uh, if we go to notifications, our common folk plus one good relations with the father, uh, which leads to a plus one common folk endorsement. Good relations with the younger son. Saint Just is lying. During, an a during one of the regular disputes at the Café Procopi, the brazen Saint Just demographically suggested that all judges are corrupt and relics of the ancient regime. Unfortunately, he chose to use you as an example again. Common folk and reputation take a hit. Uh, we have 11 reputation overall, though, so we are very popular in France. You can see this is almost all the way up. The revolutionaries' opinion of us is medium. The common folk absolutely adore us at a level 20. Plus 20, we're negative 2 for the revolutionaries. Um... We also haven't gotten to the map yet. I'm assuming that map in our room is, like, our ability to take over Paris which is also a piece of this game, which has not yet been captured. Hierarchy. Burrell is dead, fell during riots. So, we're still at the bottom of the pecking order here. Alright, well, we've got another trial to go, but this is a logical stopping point. So, this was the big episode, we killed the king. It felt a little anticlimactic. It feels like it may have happened a little bit too early in the game. But, uh, you know, we're still in Act 1 of the game, so presumably we've got a long way to go. We'll see how things play out, if this is like a three-play, uh, three-act play, or, or how. But uh, yours truly, the executioner of the king, and we'll see how uh, that impacts us moving forward. Certainly helped our reputation and our standing with various groups, but are there any long-term ramifications? Uh, we won't know that today. We'll know that next time or in the following episode. So until then, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for, the wa for watching, and I'm out.